Even all remarks here, back in another video, back with a 3D video. And I haven't done one of these kind of more traditional side-by-side -side 3D videos for a while. I've been doing sort of VR 180 or 360 or just the traditional sort of uh, normal flat videos. But I'm kind of thinking that with VR, normal 3D really should take off again. I mean, it kind of all kicked off probably about 10 years ago. Um, and I managed to get a few cameras at that point, but I've got two different cameras here. Um, they're not necessarily that new. We've got on your left is the WeView uh, SID camera. Uh, it shoots in 3K 30 frames per second. And then on your right, you'll have the Ant VR 360, um, sorry, 3D camera. And that shoots in 2.7K uh, 30 frames per second. They do have some other options, but I kind of find these are probably the best options for it. So it should be in 3D. I'll put them side by side. So it's kind of a comparison on what they, they sort of look like. But I've got all my lights on, trying to illuminate me the best it can to get the best quality out of these cameras. So we'll have to kind of see how good they really are. I do believe the WeView one has a wider field of view, so you should be able to see pretty much my entire sort of area here. And then the Ant one is very sort of narrow, and they both film in one by one aspect ratio, so a square picture. Now, you could crop in and make it kind of a normal video, but I'm probably not gonna do it for this one. But what I was kind of thinking is that I could potentially use one of these cameras for filming sort of my gameplay videos. Um, maybe a bit better than using VR 180 where you see everything and have to look around. I could kind of do one side 3D, one side 3D gameplay um, with these cameras. I'm kind of hoping to test these cameras, see which one's the best sort of one for that job. Uh, I'm not sure either of them are that great. I do have some older cameras. I do have an old sort of point and shoot 3D uh, Panasonic uh, Lumix camera, and that's actually pretty good. The quality on it is not too bad. I do have one of the Fujifilm's W3s coming to me. Uh, I'm gonna test that as well. So I'm gonna have those at, side by side at some point. Um, and I've also done a little bit with GoPros, but the, the, the downside is when you sort of have two separate cameras, you really do need them kind of firing at exactly the same time, like the absolute same frame rate. Otherwise it kind of gets a bit ghosty and a bit horrible. So it doesn't really work if you kind of don't have that kind of gen locked camera like these are, where they actually have two lenses. I think the WeView has a slightly narrower sort of uh, space between its lenses because the camera is tiny. Uh, it's about five centimeters between each one. And then the Ant camera is about sort of seven centimeters between each lens. So it, it probably looks more 3D, I imagine, in the Ant camera than it does in the WeView camera. Uh, but let me know what you think about the quality down below. Is 3D something you'd like to see more of now that VR's finally taken off? Because I always thought it was a shame that 3D took off Everyone got super excited about it. I've got 3D TVs and all sorts, and I love 3D content. I, I can't get enough of it. But, um, but it never really took off in the mainstream. But is that because it was just so hard to do, to get into, to watch, uncomfortable? Um, for me, it wasn't an issue putting sort of the passive glasses on and watching my LG TV. I love doing that. Um, but then saying that even now, I don't do that very often. But I have been to watch some IMAX films recently in the cinema and they blow me away. They absolutely blow me away. Now I know most of those films are sort of post-processed 3D, well pretty much all of them are. I don't think they hardly film any sort of real films in 3D these days. Um, but it still looks very impressive, very sort of cool. I did notice when the few sort of scenes on Dark Phoenix the other day that there was kind of, you could sort of see it wasn't perfect around the noses and stuff like that. You sort of see a little bit of a blur where it was, it was doing the sort of the, the post processing sort of process for it, but I don't know. It, it's still good. It was definitely kind of added to the experience um, and very clever still, even though it was sort of a, a sort of a, an afterthought almost to add the 3D. Um, I, I don't know. I would love, I would pay through the nose, well, reasonably, uh, for a 2K by 2K side by side video player that does 30 frames per second, ideally 60, uh, with a nice high bit rate, something like 120 megabits per second. I would, you know, it's a nice dynamic range as well. Yes, yes, I would pay for that. I would pay some good money for that. Um, I know you can get the side-by-side -side rig with the GoPro, but it's the older GoPros, the, the Hero 3 Plus, I think. You can get the GoPro cage and put two GoPros side-by-side. -side. Um, I don't have one of those, but if you've got any experience with one of those, let me know, because I am interested in getting one. Um, as I say, I've tried sort of putting two GoPro sessions side by side, seeing how that looks, that's worked okay. But as I say, because they're not sort of locked frame rate wise, you get kind of one kind of, they almost kind of go like this, 
with frame rate and sort of half in between so you get a little bit of ghost it's not perfect it's better when you kind of shoot high frames per second because you the chances of you kind of matching the frame rate is a little bit higher but then you suffer in image quality so i don't know let me know what you think about this sort of thing in the comments down below should i do more would you like to see more 3d is vr gonna encourage you to watch more 3d is it worth it i mean do you prefer vr 180 where you can look all around or is this actual sort of flat format actually quite good and something you'd like to see more of so let me know in the comments down below what you think about this what do you think about the quality which one do you think is the better picture i'll try and export them in the highest quality i can and i'll leave any comments and that sort of thing down below uh, from when I come to edit this video on what I kind of think about it. I mean, looking at the cameras now, the Wii View camera is definitely a lot smaller than the end camera. The Wii View camera actually is almost GoPro size as well. So, you know, all the GoPro gimbals and that sort of thing, it slots in there perfectly. So, you know, you can kind of stabilize it a little bit and use it, but it shoots in this weird sort of postage stamp sort of square format, which is weird. They seem to say it's like for VR use, which I guess makes sense. But still, if you were using it to view like this, you still probably want it 16 by 9. Now, you can crop it down, make it 16 by 9, but then you're kind of cropping images, reducing resolution, stretching it. It's not ideal. But let me know what you think about these two in the comments down below. If you found this video interesting, give it a thumbs up. If not, give it a thumbs down. That's fine. I'm big enough and ugly enough to take it. But do let me know in the comments down below why you didn't like it. I'll try and do better for next time. Become one of the remarkables. Hit that subscribe button and that notification bell to be notified when I next upload a video. And that's me done. I'm out. Have a virtual high five.